Hey, welcome back. It's your girl. Don't call me white girl. Whoop, whoop. Because we don't have enough like, yeah, y'all don't do nothing. Yes, we do. I just gave you the, the, the beat me dropping right now. Right. Happy holidays, whores. Hey, Trap, are you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Y'all like that? Better. You know it's a trap, don't you? We can't hear the sounds that they there. I feel like I'm giving runny nose. Me? I'm happy to see you guys. It's the holiday. Happy fucking holidays. We're not supposed to celebrate pagan fucking holidays, but look Ooh. who's here. Let's celebrate Thanksgiving, the murder of a bunch of natives. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> it's such a terrible thing. Like, they relive some horrible, fucked up ass shit every time we have, like, sweet potatoes. <laughs> wow, that's so girl. fucked up. Like I don't have to say nothing about them because you could dog them. Nobody gives a fuck. Damn, you know what I mean? Nobody cares about the natives. Shout out to the natives, man. I want the natives to know I don't fuck with pilgrims or whites, really. But my Thanksgiving is because I really Love like the know. I like to cook and I like the I like to cook for my people that I love. So that's why I do the Thanksgiving thing. I just like that part. You know what I mean? And I always I used to always cook for um, New Year's because we were talking about black eyed peas. And as a grown ass woman, once you pass thirty, black eyed peas and lima beans taste well. Why wow. I don't know. Lima beans with turkey neck? This nigga talking about he don't like, you're tripping. Keep what? the lima beans. See, no, no. Keep, keep the hot the, sauce. Keep the hot sauce. Keep the lima beans out the way. Little salt. You so, feel me? Black eyed peas. Little ranch. Try to get this. You, you know what I did? That was the salt bay, John. Turkey neck in the back. Salt bay don't got lima beans for sure in there. No, I'm just saying that's the, the, the way he seasons. You're not doing no lima beans. Though. Lima beans Man. with turkey necks are really, really good, no. guys. And so are black eyed peas with turkey necks. And I'm honestly. What with the, the right. I don't know. He double hand. I just tried. Just put him on a on a single one. You know, you know he's not right. doing nothing that we do. He's going to do his own thing. <laughs> he's too cool to be doing what we do. You don't That's get not Phelps thing. Right? Um, but yeah, it's the holiday. I'm going to cook stuff. Do y'all want to know what I'm cooking? I'm going to cook baked macaroni and cheese. Now, when I list these things, I don't want to sound like crazy, or whatever. But my baked macaroni and cheese is better than yours. It's better than your grandma's. Period. What? Now, my shit's not pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving styrofoam greasy, your shirt gonna get dirty, because you, you know what I mean? But, good, like, seriously, for real. I got the juice, can I cook? I'm doing, I'm doing baked macaroni. It's, it's better than yours and your grandma's. I'm going to do yams, of course. Um, I'm going to do white rice with gravy. My gravy is homemade. Your whore gives you jar gravy, doesn't she? I'm doing white rice and gravy, and I'm going to do a prime rib roast, okay? No, nigga, prime rib roast is beef. That's just what that is. It's the $100 roast. You know what I'm saying? You get the cheap roast for dinner, but for the people, you get the $100 roast. Um, it's really a cool roast because it turns into ribs. It's crazy. It's crazy, you know? Um, you ever had prime rib roast? Girl. Uh, excuse me. Um, so what about the people that not... Into the whole. You talking about you? Beef. I got crackers got, and tuna she, she for you. She got to finish the menu. She crackers and tuna. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Now he a Presbyterian. I can't. He's that friend. Every week is some new healthy shit. I can't keep the fuck up with it. I'm gonna give you a nice shake. It'll taste like dirt, and I'll get you crackers and tuna. All right. What else we got? Top of the ginger ale you got? Canada Dry, of course. Only. Stop drinking other ginger ales, you fucking freaks. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? You drink Canada Dry ginger ale. You don't drink Schweppes and Schleps and Flips. You drink Canada Dry flat out. Grow up. Hood, we drink Days. Now, that's bull. If you drink a Days ginger ale, you're nah. a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. If anything, you drink that's a Days the only pineapple. It's not healthy for you. <laughs> it's, it doesn't, it's the only ginger ale with no ginger. It's the only ginger ale with no ginger. Yeah, for it's sure. It's, L it's L just ale. It's just ale. Exactly right. Um, I'm going to do baked macaroni, white rice, gravy, but. And we're going to do yams, and I'm going to do seafood salad. My seafood salad is really, really good. It's better than you're not your... putting marshmallow on them yams, are you? Assalamu alaikum, brother. I'm just asking. Man. Um, listen, <laughs> trap is done. Trap got one. Yeah, <laughs> I can't explain to you why he's done already, because <laughs> it's like you know we doing stuff or whatever. But it's it's been a lot. Okay. Um, my seafood salad is really good because I don't use the baby shrimp that y'all use. Because y'all y'all have events for people and you get the smallest shrimp. You get bag shrimp from Walmart that's already done and it's very small. It's very weird looking. It's probably not even shrimp. It's probably not even shrimp. Stop getting your meats from Walmart. I think it's, I think it's wrong. It's crazy. Frozen shrimp. I taste it. I don't like it. My seafood salad has real crab meat, the can, Rhonda, the one that's behind the glass so you don't put it in your pocketbook. And big shrimp. Period. No imitation crab meat. My seafood salad is $100 a pan. We could talk about it for a while. I use shells. Whatever. It's a special ingredient, though. You want to know what it is? 
celery seed. You welcome, horse. That's what it is. Anyway, I'm going to do fried chicken because I like fried chicken a lot. I want to do a deep fried turkey, um, but I'm definitely, of course, you got to do turkey. I'm going to do my, again, I, damn, I, I hate to say it again. My cornbread stuffing is better than your mom's and your grandma's. I do homemade cornbread stuffing. It's amazing. Oh, my God, it's so crazy. So I'm going to stuff the turkey with that. And then I'll do, um, I wanted to do oxtail this year because I wanted to be feeling like I made it. I'm a celebrity. Like, why can't I eat oxtail on Thanksgiving? You know what I'm saying? Oxtail is so expensive. So that's like you put it away when everybody get there, get there. That's just for the niggas that stay down with you and cook. You know what I mean? Like, you don't serve everybody the ribs. So, uh, um, excuse me. <laughs> this nigga got another so, question. How? How? Oxtail. Is that, is that, that's It's the beef, tail of right? the ox. Is that a beat? Is it's that the beef? tail of the ox. That right by meat? the beach. Is that red meat? I've never seen Juan Guan. Shout out to my fucking island, islanders yeah. out there. Is red meat? Okay, I love I'll, I'll y'all. I'll pass on the oxtail. I was raised listening to a lot of Shaka Demons and Pliers. Top shout to us. Buju Bantan. Shout out to Buju Bantan. We're Ross huge Buju Bantan fans in my Pun family. Pun the glass them. Oh, this nigga speaking Petois. It's like, he speaks Spanish. He speaks Petois. He speaks like, God. He's fluent in so many things. Such a special guy. Um, I'm missing something. Oh, I usually do like a um, like a lobster macaroni and cheese or a seafood macaroni and cheese just because, you know, you want to be fancy. I do two kinds of deviled eggs, regular, and I do one with crab meat in it. I think I want to do fried shrimp in the deviled eggs this year because I saw a restaurant that was popular do that over and over and over. And then I a saw... A fried shrimp? Yeah, it's by myself. Egg. Nah. Dre don't believe it. That's fucked up. You think I just smoke blacks and roll weed and just be a ghetto bitch all day? I could cook, god damn it. I got kids. And you know what's crazy? I love I love soul food, but my mother didn't cook that. So that's how I learned how to cook because it was like, what am I going to eat? And I was the only child. So if my mom bought meats, I could defrost shit and cook because she was never going to do it. I would burn shit constantly and I learned how to cook. My first meals were like T-bones and I would do burritos. Like I would do these huge burritos for all my friends and shit they love. People still run into me like, girl, remember we used to make them burritos? Yes, whore, I do. The most important question, when is the food going to be ready to eat? To be honest, and I know y'all not going to believe this, but no cap, my dinner be ready one, two. No cap. Because that's when I eat mine I cook the day before. I cook the day before. So you cook throughout the night. That's the whole fun part. So how many days, excuse me, how many days do you preparate for this exquisite uh, (laughs) language? That's the trap fact. It's a trap word. And I like it. Well, I preparate, brother. That's the type of friend I am. Brother, I like to preparate. I don't know what's funny in here. Okay? I preparate myself, you know. So I ain't playing with all three of y'all. You know what I mean? Me, myself, I like to preparate for at least. Pre- preparate sound like something they do, like, before a procedure. Like, Honestly, I, it's, I it's, it's, I'm starting my own dictionary. Cats out the back. It's, I'm combining the words. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> and um eight from just back up, bro. Back up, back up. I got you. <laughs> so me myself, I preparate. Uh, I like to do. You know, I don't want to go a week because you don't want things to be stale. But it's like, okay, for example, the reason why my macaroni and cheese is better than your mom's is because of the way I cut my cheese. But that takes time. Stop using shredded cheese in your baked macaroni. We just we danced around this. What? what do not put shredded. Trap said if you put. <laughs> You ready? We got another one. Trap said if you put shredded cheese in your big macaroni and cheese, you then have buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> got buffalo, you got buffalo uh, macaroni dip. That's what you, know you know said. I, mean? I don't bring know how, chips. but that. Bring the chips. It doesn't, here now. You feel it me? doesn't melt right. That's the thing. Shredded cheese, you can't be a loser and try to like brush Pan, macaroni and cheese with shredded. Pan, and know? then y'all fuck up a lot with the top because what you're doing is you see other people macaroni and have that pretty brown. So you want to do that. So you'll get, let me shred this. No, bitch, it's giving constipation. That's way too much. We don't want it. It's nasty. And plus, it's going to just burn at the top because it's so thin. It's the way you. Another secret, you cube it. It's on my YouTube, though. I did that years ago. It's like one of my highest can, viewed can, videos can, on YouTube. Can you, um, Break down the word cubic. You well, basically, like you use block cheddar cheese, and I don't use a thousand cheeses like a lot of you niggas do. I do um, just two, but with the cheddar, you you make sure they're little blocks. It's all about the way they melt. Baked macaroni and cheese, through the contrary belief, is a casserole. That's the kind of dish it is. So the way it bakes is the whole fucking thing. You know what I mean? So, and I'm purposely giving burnt edges because niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? People like that part, but the center needs to be soft, but it has to sit on its own, like a lasagna would. It's a casserole. So that's the thing. You're building it in that way. So even when you put whatever you're putting in it, 
it shouldn't be all because it's like fuck it, okay? The shape should already kind of be there. So whatever. Go on my YouTube, learn how to make macaroni and cheese, bitch. Oop. Um, I don't do cornbread because I do cornbread stuffing, but I love King's Hawaiian rolls. I love them. They're so good. It's like a oh sweet and salty. Oh, you like them? You know what we should do this year? We should Trap's coming for Thanksgiving. He's gonna be there. You should, you know what I like you niggas do lately? You fucking take, you take a little paint brush, you paint them motherfuckers. And y'all, you know you niggas love parsley. Y'all don't even give a fuck with part, what's in it? Y'all just parsley everything. I seen a bitch put parsley on French toast. Guess what? Double tapped it, because it looked good. It looked Yo, great. That, that is a sad, it's something about it. Yo, parsley is a I must say. My son, when I get the, <laughs> and it just gives it. That, that, that I had to weed people up today, though. yo. I'm telling you now. That green confetti just Ain't like nothing that. green supposed to be next to French toast, yo. I, I promise you. Though. Hey, hey, hey I'm from Philadelphia. No they no sell kingy. breakfast platters. They put parsley on eggs and the French toast. <laughs> Fucking waffles, too. Eggs, cool. It ain't nothing green Niggas, on no French listen. toast. Uh, that's weird. Hey, parsley is the sequin of food. Okay, let's sprinkle this shit up. Give me some fucking part. We need parsley. Yeah, put that on the list. We don't have, I never, Dre said, you could cook, bitch, or you ghetto, bitch. I said, no, I do cook, but it's ugly because my plate is hideous. My shit never look good. My gravy is ugly as a motherfucker, but it's good. My gravy, my, my gravy built I mean, like your baby they, mom. Lumpy, they do but it's say great. presentation is everything, but that's more like a. What you hiding what you hide under that, what you of, hide with that parsley, big dog? This nigga stuck. I'm t I'm here for it. Y'all use parsley way too much, and I like it. I like black people. We do everything too parsley far. Parsley actually sold out. And, I uh, love us. The <laughs> That's the difference between me. I really enjoy nigga shit. Nigga shit is one nigga start using parsley. Now we all do. Parsley is on every. I literally cooked for a thousand years and never touched parsley. It don't even fucking cross my mind. It's not even in my cabinet. And you just put it on your French toast because you seen it on TikTok. What are we doing for the desserts, baby? Okay, he trying to play me. He already know I don't know how to bake. But I make a mm. mean shot right patty pie. Shout out to Shot Right Bakery. Best motherfucking sweet potato pie I ever had in my life come from Shot Right. And I'm not wrestling with patty and patties, patty. I've never had patty's pie, to be honest. But I know it's good. I might have had I mean, it. it's it's better if you if you if you like butter it up a little bit, throw it back in the oven. Just oh, a little bit. Let it brown a bit. You but, know what I mean? But no, but the shot right pie, you have to put it in the oven. I don't give a fuck. I, don't, I didn't know that. I just cut that motherfucker up. I don't. It's good. So you know what I'm talking about. That shit good. But it's a I buy them bitches People all year. It's a difference between sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie. Yes, one is okay, and one is nowhere near okay. One is for whites, one is for blacks, honey. Yeah. No, black, no black people buy pumpkin yeah. pie, babe. That's like a, you see it quick, grab it, think it's sweet potato, and you get home. I was and just about to pumpkin pie is when you send that dummy to the store. Cause you fucking him and he brings back pumpkin pie. I remember I sent the nigga to the store to get me meat for my greens and he brought me raw turkey wings, the big ones, like the Flintstones eat with the drumstick on it. I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to, how the fuck is this supposed to season the greens? It's raw, you fucking idiot. I hate you just, you send men to the market. It's like, it's just like, soon as they get there, pfft, smartest nigga you know, idiot in that motherfucker. He don't date, it's something about them niggas. They just can't grasp like, Babe, I've been looking for the steak for an hour. You got to go to the cold part, dummy. You in the cereal aisle, motherfucker. Ain't no meat there. Go down. Make a right. Dumb ass niggas. Niggas are, whew, it's hard, man. Men are fucking stupid. This is true. And you cannot send a man to the market. That's a per is that you will go to the bakery and get a pumpkin pie. You fucking, so you assume that every pie, this color was sweet potato. Why? Why? What the fuck is that? Where's the thought process? Why you couldn't read it? And it's crazy because my ex would really be like, don't fucking send me then. It's like, no, nigga, you can't read. And I didn't know. You don't know your nigga can read or not. It's going to show a lot about my life. You don't find out this nigga can't read till he go to jail. He writes you a letter and you got, you hooked on finance to read that shit. You don't know what the fuck he talking about. And he getting deep about shit. And you like, what? And then he got another call. You get my letter? No. Yes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, what you, you ain't got nothing to say about the letter? I can't read it. I don't know what you're saying. You don't, I don't know what you're saying. I had niggas from jail write me W-Y-D, shit like that. Short hand shit. What are you doing, nigga? You ain't got nothing but time. You couldn't have fucking tried to do this a little better. You ain't got nothing to do in there. But write me and you can't get this together. Damn, that's, that's a hurt piece. You swear you got an intelligent nigga. That nigga write you from jail. This nigga, only thing spelled right is his fucking name. Not even yours, bitch. <laughs> this nigga can't even spell your name. 
Damn, dick something though. I bet you wait though. You wait for that motherfucker to get out. You ever had fresh home dick? Boy, it's hard like the smite. For months. Skin, oh, them motherfuckers look preserved. Niggas do 30 years, come on looking the same. God damn, you haven't aged a day, Jerome. You look amazing. Them white people couldn't keep you down. Fuck them crackers couldn't keep you down. Can you say crackers on the podcast? Not draw white people. I'm talking about the establishment. Real white people hate white people too. You all right, Ron? You gonna need a fucking hospital visit? <laughs> but that's why Rhonda has to be here because that totally tickles my fancy. Juice is one of them too. She'll just laugh, laugh, laugh. It makes me show off. Boom. Then we put out. That's why nobody like me now. <laughs> then we get. Then we gotta go. <clears throat> why do you always get put out of um, establishment? Team, don't call me white girl. We get book us and put us out the same night. We nobody forgets us. We are rememberable. Book us. We get put out right at the back. Front, Listen, though. the behavior go down right at the back end is giving up. Some kind of way the shit just get. <laughs> Like before, it's like, hey, how are you doing? I'm out front. You got, I'm looking for a point of contact. We all here. My security, everybody's good. Yes, we the hookah. Nope, we don't need a hookah. We the, as soon as that money pays, like, ain't no hookah, this motherfucker. I said Moet, nigga. Just don't bring me a bottle girl doing a TikTok dance. Shout out to the TLO in Philadelphia, worst place I've ever been in my life. I don't know if y'all remember. Remember I was talking about the TLO? Don't forget. Um, I'm here looking natural. I'm not really with the natural thing. You know what I mean? Um, again, I had assistance with my bun, shout out to Rhonda. Um, I'm having a problem booking hairstylists. I, I, I have problems with hairstylists, nail techs, lash ladies, pedicurists, not waxers. I've never had a problem with my waxer. Shout out to Smitten Kitten. She's fucking amazing. Shout out to Kiana. Keeps the cat bald. Of course not in the winter, Juice. You got to keep a little fur on in the winter. Bitch might get a cold. Hey, you know what I mean? Unpopular opinion, man. Uh oh, it's nothing wrong with it. You like a little fur on you? It when it's it got to be the soft hair. You can't have a brillo. Of course, no brillo. <laughs> no four C coochie hair. Come on no. now. F- you talking about like a nice little curl, a little not a fro, but like a little I'm with that though, you know, Fel- like Fel- that. Fel- 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 swag is 70s. Yes, he is so He's vintage, 70s. exactly. But no, back in the day, a bitch had a bush, the kind you could put in a ponytail, mm. the kind you could braid in six straight backs. So it's not it's 70 ish, but it's not 70s. Yeah. You know what I mean? How, how do you feel about... A little bit of nostalgia. Let me ask you... Listen, first of all, we're not going to tease you. I'm with that shit. I understand completely. I'm asking you... Of course, you don't... Excuse, excuse, what am I talking about? What I'm asking you is, what do you think about other places, like underarm hair, things like that? Leg hair, stuff like that. With women... Well... <laughs> <laughs> what is that villain shit? <laughs> leg like hair? What people do before they... Nah, nah, because that... That for y'all, I don't. The thing is, it's like my hair is soft. When a woman leg hair rub against mine, it don't feel like mine. So leg hair, no. What? Forearm hair, I look for that. And that's a secret thing that y'all don't. You they don't me. know. What he say? They another episode. They hear me. Another episode yeah. for what that. What did you call it though? Foreign. Forearm. 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 You like that? A little mustache, yeah. a little something on the back. You it's, like it's, it? It's a secret. No, it's not what we like. It just lets us know something. What, tell me, what does it mean? The box is fire. Oh, good pussy. I got a stash and a beard. Choo choo. I know that. <laughs> now everybody got I got a beard. forearm <laughs> here and I have a fucking beard. Yes. Um, I for, have a beard here. Excuse me. And a mustache. And the coochie's amazing. They, they I don't be lying about that. That's about, a real thing. Um, bodily hair. Thanks for asking. But it can't be stinking um, and extra. I didn't know that, though. It I didn't even be, know that. It can't be stinking and extra and all yeah. that. But of yeah. Of course. A little bit. I mean, Yeah, yes, that's what hair is. Yeah, but, that's what hair does. But, but yes, it's nice. Um, a nice forearm. Yeah, th- thank y'all. So um, here under the underarm, right? Yeah. I was on Twitter tweeting. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ran into a Twitter <laughs> feminist. Is that what they call it? And I she was giving like women. this yeah. and this. Yeah. This is like. Yeah, because she don't care. Bro, I, feel, I saw a feminist that didn't use sanitary napkins. They had just like pants with blood on them. That was the thing. Yeah, I swear. I don't, you know, like my, listen, I had to at least know where you coming from. You know what I mean? And I feel like, I'm scared to say this, I'm part feminist. Like I'm here, for, I love women and shit like that. So I love women enough I would like to fuck one like that. But I'll fight one too. You but know what I mean? My OCD, like we need like an OCD call, OCD community. That just I think y'all do, y'all call people with OCD. You just, you just have to. Y- y'all do have it, y'all people with OCD, so if you hit your hashtag, you just 
rile y'all up and y'all can meet, but y'all already have that title, so y'all already a group. You, you know, know what, what I mean? else is a cult? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Cut, cut him out, cut his mic, Dre, cut the mic, cut it, cut it. Um, no, I, I, the must girls with mustaches have good pussy. I think that's like a known thing, but I didn't know it was like forearm but and the, all the that. The mustache is like a, oh, cause what you know a lot know? of older I people, feel like all, you eventually get oh, a I'm mustache so anyway. Shit. It's crazy. I feel like that's a Latin girl thing. The forearm hairy, I don't know if you could say that, but the Spanish girls seem hairy to me. But every girl, every girl gets a mustache. And then no, the it's, unibrow it's and all that. Trap fact. You start off as a female, everybody, before our testicles drop, mm -hmm. and you end up as a man. That's why girls have the mustaches, and mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Just, mm -hmm. That might be a fact fact, hon. If not, it's a trap fact. Right. Google it. It's, either way, it's a fact, motherfuckers. Take it or leave it, okay? Because it's not going so to So don't really, don't think because you have a mustache, your box is fire, everyone gets a mustache. We're talking about the, <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the whole cape, you know what I mean? The whole... I remember when the girls were doing the Why You Being Weird to Me, the filter, like every video with the thing. And it's like, don't, I just needed a filter. And that was the one that popped up. I was like, that's not, that's not the thing. Like I could tell, <laughs> it's like, just like I not. could tell you just cut that joint. Like when it look a little light. Like me? The, not you. Oh, because <laughs> I don't, I don't fuck with this at all. I will like pluck this with back. tweezers. X a man, you cut it, it grow back thicker. That's for sure. That's why I don't fuck with it. But I, I would like I, I used to plug this, and then I'll just forget. My ex would literally do it. Like he was so anal about that underarm hair, everything. Get it off. Like, shave. You need to shave. Like, yeah, that was his thing. I ain't super. I anal think it's about just because it, it's the spiky. Niggas don't like the spiky. But it's only spiky if you shave, because then it'll grow back. Once you let it grow, it won't be that way. You know. I don't know. I'm so cold that if. Pussy hair and leg hair make you warm. I might start, because I be cold. I'm anemic. I be cold, bro. I need, is that our fur? Will it work? Because I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you wax? Yes. Waxing was probably one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. And it's always like midway, I'm like, I can't do it no more. But I got half a ball pussy. So it's like, we got to do it. I hate it. The whole thing. It's like, why are you ripping this? It's like, the, oh, it's just, why do I have to do this? Why? You know how I removed hair forever? Nair. And you're not even supposed to use Nair on that area. And I have a chemical burn. I did burn myself before. And it hurt so bad, like healing. But now the hair is like going forever. Yep, you don't know hair. But it's like a little, it's, that's crazy. I never thought about it like that. But it's literally like, how do you, do, what, what part of the cat is that? The top. The boys have it too. I call it boy pussy. Y'all got it too. <laughs> that part. Yeah, that little fat part. What? The pelvic? I just think no, about nigga, the same know. thing you have, but, but yours turns into a that. penis, and mine has a slit in it. The top. Y'all calling you this right? No this hair, little hair, thing right here? No hair right there is gonna be like a little pudgy there. Like Pudge. Pudge. Is oh, this nah, chick it's... fucking fillet? Fuck, it's not. It's Jay. <laughs> Welcome. I thought you was Chick Fil A. <laughs> we hungry. We ordered Chick Fil A. <laughs> no, it is like five minutes away though. Okay. Yeah. Um. No. Um. <laughs> I gotta. Um. Fuck, uh, I have a small little. You got a ball spot. Basically, and it's like on that. You got a Rashid Wallace. But imagine if room. it was like in the lips. I girl, I'd have been fucked. Cause you're not supposed to use that stuff there. Y'all need to create. Do I gotta create that too? Do I gotta create that too? What? Hair removal for your cat. They have one though. They do. It's like an old school joint. Like Bro, I need one that work like there. It's called a perm. Leave it on for too long. It's so much easier. Waxing really, really hurts. Dre, you wax? Have you ever waxed? That's crazy, bro. I can't believe niggas. Oh my god! And then literally the, the movement of it. But you know what? No, for real, for real. Nah, that's not. Fair. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Those type of hair bumps or something like that. Oh, waxing's a lot better than shaving. No, I've I've had a lot of females offer shaving like the wax, but it's just like, what? No, what the hell? Yeah. How would I do that? I'm cool. I waxed a nigga before, just to torture him. <laughs> um, no, because Muslims are the same. Muslims, you have to re remove all hair on your body every 30 days because Muslims believe it's dirty, it's nasty. So it's called stinger, like the way to live. So you live that way. And that's how you do it to keep, because Muslims think it's piss. It's just piss and sweat. So you just get rid of it every 30 days. Like you don't pass that. You're supposed to remove the hair for men and women though. Have you ever had ball to ball? Oh, boy. Bald dick and bald pussy. Amazing. It's wet. 
nasty, hot, wet. Bald, look, now you're thinking, take no, that shit. Well, he just said, he said he's never going all the way bald. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable. So what do you just like, shave it down? Why the fuck are we still talking about this? Yeah. You just shave it down though, is that what you do? Yeah. That's crazy. I want, no, that's crazy. Most it is like, you know, men want you to suck like, their balls. It's like, no, finishing. get that hair off or you're not getting nothing, nigga. How about yeah. that? And let me tell you, can I further, I'm going to end it with this. You men need to fucking wax, shave, nair the crack of your asses as well. And let me tell you why. Because it's doo-doo on it. It's too much hair coming out of your ass. The hair is sprouting through your pants. I can see your fucking hairy ass. Get some of the hair from in between your ass. It's not a big deal. You just squat in the shower, shoop, shoop, it's going. It's not, it's not that difficult, Rhonda. You don't seem like you get you with me here. Because these niggas ain't wiping their ass. You know what I mean? Oh, I shower after my one, too, so I ain't tripping. Admirable. Um, yeah, but Thanksgiving is coming up. It's a, it's a lot of people are getting super depressed right now because people get depressed during the holidays. And then it's a lot of anxiety because it's like, your mother-in-law's coming. She's a fucking bitch. I want the, my listeners that had to deal with their mother-in-laws or whatever, cuss that bitch out. Like, cuss her the fuck out. Yo, guess what? Cuss her out. Fuck it. And get drunk first so you can blame her on alcohol the next day. And say, hun, I don't know where that came from. I didn't eat anything. I had two tequila sunrises. I was just trying to get the meal out. Babe, you call my mother a whore, a one-legged whore. No, I was drunk. I love you. I love your mother. Call your mother back here. Because she going to be in a hotel after you cuss her the fuck out. You don't let nobody, you don't let nobody fucking, like, come into your household and ruin. I don't know why y'all deal with so much bullshit from your fucking, your mother-in-laws. It's crazy. I mean, hopefully you have great relationships with your mother-in-laws and shit, but most people don't. And you hate your family members and you invite them all over. I don't know. I'm about a good time. Nobody's invited to my house that I don't want to see. Nobody. Like, everybody's inviting. And guess what? The invites are not too long. Because niggas will just come. And you know what else I want you to know? It's very rude to take the food. It's very rude. I know people that get the food first, right? They wrap it up and then they'll put it away and then they'll eat. But that's how my family is. That's why most of them aren't invited to my house. Kid you not. Kid you not. That seafood salad I make, they'll pile it up and just steal it. It's crazy. That's stealing, bitch. You're stealing. That's stealing. Why is your car packed up with shit and you back here making a plate for you to eat now? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not what this is about. I don't like going too many places for Thanksgiving, so. <sighs> Man, See, load me up. You such a fucking celeb. Juice, close that door for me. It's freezing in here. It's so chilly. People say they want to get full till they can't move, but then they want to go to three houses. Like, what? That don't make no sense. I agree. The house hopping thing is stupid. How are you house hopping and you full? Yeah, the You're house lying. hopping thing is stupid. You're lying somewhere. And you know what the thing about me, though? When I do go out, which is rare lately, but at least last years, I don't want to go where the food ain't right. I got to fucking... I know somebody that does Thanksgiving, and it's horrible. And it's like, well, I'm not coming. Or I'm going to go eat first. Why the fuck do I have to come to your house to eat because you're my fucking grandma? You can't cook. I hate your food. It's disgusting. Or you got to fight to <laughs> relax after. Like, you can't just, you got to find yeah, somewhere to if relax. If I can't just, like, lay too out. too Yeah, I can't. I sleep. Can't. The conditions are bad. Too many people. The I'm house out. a little, you know, the, the craziest house has got the best food. So it's no, like. No, that's it's, where it's to play that. Up, and I can't just pop all down and be good. Boy. That house no, dirty, that motherfucker about to be. That, then I don't want to be there. Whew. That's not true. And I hate the people that, that's, that, I mean, yes, it's, it's not always true. I hate the people that go super cheap, like uh, uh, Coke, soda, cola instead of Coke. It's like you literally picking everything. Now, if you buy that all the time, yeah, but I don't like your rolls. They break apart. I can't even stop my gravy of your rolls, dollar story. I don't want that. I don't like that stuff, you know? Or they'll get the plates that buckle. Like, get the good plate, bitch. It's a heavy plate. Why are you got us on the dollar store styrofoam plates? It's giving gravy in the lap now. I don't like that. That's not cool. I don't. Sometimes people kind of do. Like, I know people that will have stuff for the holiday, right? And they will literally pour liquor, the cheap liquor, in an expensive bottle. Like, it's like, if you want to have something nice for people, you know what I mean? Like, I was joking about hiding the oxtail. Like, I, I, everything's, everybody can Talking eat. About families do that? I thought that was like a, a party trick. I, my family does that. Damn. I, I've been to my family events where they're like, <laughs> the Tito's in the cabinet. 
You know what I mean? But we're going to get these niggas the Seagrams or Why you the got Switcher. Why you got a lot of the fam, though? No, oh, never mind. Because never mind. you're trying it's to protect. Because mind. the family shit has nothing to do with family. It's just about, you know how families get, so, man. Quick, so, question. <laughs> do you get dressed up for Thanksgiving? Now, if I'm home and I'm cooking, I'm comfortable. But if I get that little in me, yes, I might put a blazer on for the living room. I want one of them. Shit, I want to look good, nigga. I got my hair done. Oh, nigga, I might. I might go ahead and throw me a little blazer on or something. You know what I'm saying? Then you bitches like to pull your cameras out. You know, that's the new thing. Everybody cameras out. The fact that it's piping hot Chick-fil-A and everybody's pretending that they don't want to rip these bags open is blowing my shit. I want somebody to pass me a French fry. This is bullshit. The fuck is going on? Fuck Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A are a, a terrible organization, but they have great food. They hate gay people, too. They do. You're not even open on Sundays. That's such bullshit. What about your goddamn Jewish customers? Shalom. He's a black Jew. He is. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for the holiday. I hope you're all excited for the holiday, man. Um, I'll see because I follow a lot of y'all back now. We don't want to see a million plates. Them joints stink. Oh, God. That's just a part of it. And I'm going to probably post my shit. Listen, my the main thing is, can I can I eat these fries on camera? I just want to eat one fry. Just give me one fry. They don't feed me. I want y'all to know that y'all think I live this celebrity life and I have a publicist and all that. It's never donuts here. It's never coffee. It's cold, okay? They don't care about me. The fry is cold. I'm pissed. Report them. Two hundred. Well, what you say? No, I can't do nothing else. That's it. I'm working, Jesus. Come on. How many times you gonna mention it, nigga? Okay. I'm okay. Let's see. You got me there. Yeah. Back to these black hairstylists. Are y'all having problems with your black ass hairstylists? I think it's. A, I think. It's, I think we need to just have a meeting about it. I think we need to have a meeting about like how we treat each other with that hair shit. Do you have problems with barbers like women have problems with hairstylists? My, my barber is of Puerto Rican descent, man. He love to work. He coming on his day off and cut you. Nah, he, he's shaky. He's shaky, but he do his job, though. Not shaky, but I mean, he busy. I don't want to say that. He got a handful of kids. He, you know, he travel. But he hold me down. I can't. I don't know about everybody It's else. poor scheduling, bro. Listen, some of these women, these hairstylists, women and men, their fucking rules to book are so brash, you kind of know how rude this motherfucker going to be when you meet him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, must come 10 minutes early, must leave deposit, don't ask me questions in the DM, don't write on my pictures, must email, on, like, bitch, never mind. Never mind, whore. How about we don't talk at all? Like, what happened to you wanting to do my hair? Like, it used to be a time where bitches would be like, your hairstylist will call you and say, ooh, girl, I seen this for you. And then, like, that shit is out. It's it's totally a feeling of, like, please do my hair. Has please it, do my it's hair. It's changed, see, for, for I'm, I'm asking you, mm -hmm. has it changed for y'all? For men, it just got more expensive, but it kind of got better for us. Because it, it's more services. You can get it's more, more stuff. It's more service. It's just a little more expensive, but the experience didn't change. The experience is changing for y'all? Fucking right. I mean, Damn. first of all, if you're into wigs and things, you we're talking about spending upwards six hundred to a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. These girls are spending thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? Me included. I've spent thousands of dollars on hair. Um, so it's like you you get in this service that's like crazy the price. So that on top of, so I guess it did get more expensive. I don't know, bro. Ain't nobody serving me wine or coffee. Ain't nobody being nice. I don't get that. Like, I don't. I, when I try to book with half you bitches, I get, like, mm, maybe, you know. And I'm the funny girl on Instagram, so imagine what Shaquita get. You know, or the dweeby Liberian or, you know. No shade to Juice because she was a Liberian back in the day. But really, like, I, I don't. People tell me all the time, oh, you can only go with that person because of who you are because they won't even open my DM or whatever. It's like, bitch, they don't open my DM either. Like, these bitches don't talk, like. I mean, don't get it fucked up. Part of it for me is definitely like I could be a bit off with time. Just a little, a smidge. I'm late here and there. 
I'm late all the time. So it's so it's like, you know, I play my part in that, but I feel like we're missing the customer service stuff with that. And we're missing the once. And I feel like a lot of you women that do hair, y'all don't want to do hair. You just see the money in it. And I think hair is something you have to want to do and be kind of be blessed to be able to do it. Like, I don't think it's for everybody to do hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that. Back in the day, it was like, they'll say stuff like, she got growing hands, you know? Or she, you know, that's dead, man. A bitch make your hair grow, you might as well kiss the bitch in the mouth and marry her because the rest of them don't give a fuck about the quality of your hair. That's my experience. And I really want one hair person, one makeup person, one, you know, but having a problem with that. Having a problem. Like, I've literally gotten to physical altercations with people that are supposed to, like, make me pretty. Because these bitches is crazy. And God forbid you share your fucked up ass experience. Like, I literally shared my experience for terrible customer service that I received over a course of months. And then it turned into, like, a real situation. Which is crazy because I can't tell how it went that your customer service was shitty. And when I did tell that her customer service was shitty, all I got was DMs like, yes, this is what happened to me. This is what happened to me. This is what people had their own stories because your customer service is shitty. Instead of you trying to wrestle, what you should do is work on your customer service. You know what I mean? That's a big part of it. It's girls that don't do hair as good as you, but she's doing better than you because of her customer service, flat out. People like to be treated nice. Everybody want that Chick-fil-A treatment. Now, on the other end, on the back end, customers are rude as fuck. Juice, people are really rude. Juice does nails, okay? Juice 302, all right? Check Juice out. People are rude, though, right, Juice? Like, which, can you do this? Can I come in? Can I, you know? Like, let's normalize it. Hi, how are you? I was trying to see if I could. That'll go a long way, you know? And I also feel like normalize, once that bitch treats you bad, don't go back. I don't think you have to bash her online, you know? But don't keep going back, going back, or going back. That's kind of how I got my situation from going back, trying, and trying. Because I really support black business. I like the fact that I go to black people for so many things. You know what I mean? Like, I used to have so many problems at Asian salons get my nails done that I kind of vowed not to go to them anymore. I never had good experiences. Why am I frequenting this place? I'm from North Philly. You go to the Chinese store in North Philly. Chinese store, they treat you like shit, and they know you. They know you for 10 years, and they still get throw two duck sauces at you. Why should you grow up, and they're nasty to you? Why like are we going? It respect issue amongst each other. Huh? It sound like the women aren't respecting each other. That's, that's your synopsis? <laughs> you having trouble with hair, nails, lash, other, that's all service from, that's that's a respect thing. My best friend I, would say it's me. She always says that. My best friend told my daughter, you make your but own appointments, not the, mommy's not good at that. You're not the only woman that I've heard like this from, so. It's, it's, it's both parties, that's what I'm saying. A bitch will tell you to come to the hair store, at the hair appointment, washed, blow dry, and flat ironed. I swear to God. What's bitch, what you gonna do? That? What's we, your part? When you what go, you gonna do? We gonna kiss? When, when you, you go to get your hair cut, you can't pull up with the, the I mean, you can, but you, it's like you you inconvenience my, the, you making this clippers dirty, you. Phelps, it's a bitch in there with a big ass that wash hair, right? Whatever, I'm saying it's an option, right? I know women right now that to book with them, you have to come washed, blow dried, and flat ironed. What part of the game is that? They don't book with them. Get him. If that's the case, we just won't have a show, hun. Every time I, uh, I go to rant about some shit, it'll be like, well, Demona, don't don't read that then. Don't pay attention to that. Like, what the fuck? No, you they, can't they, fight they everything. Like that, <laughs> you try to fight them. It's a they. call to arms right now. If you're a stylist or whatever, bitch, and you listening to me, tighten the fuck up. And if it's not you, teach your fucking raggedy friends. All you bitches do classes. You learn how to do something, do it well for one month, and then you're doing 10 classes. Teach them bitches customer service while you at it. Making a bunch of rude ass wig making ass bitches. Cause I, I feel like y'all be having trouble with the the service, the person. It's like everything with with, with a barber. I feel like it's like somebody's late, and then that's that's the that's the problem, and that's it. But the cut gonna be good. I'm gonna dap my man up. We gonna be alright. But with y'all, y'all leave. Oh, this bitch did this. She did that. I don't like this. That's I feel like. That's Are the, you listen? If you don't like your haircut, or if you don't like your hair, do you tell them before you leave? I never do. I can't. I'm always like I like it. I never, like, I hate this. I never. And I damn sure don't do, can you just do, I don't do that at all. That's crazy. Do you? You're one of them? I've been with my barber long enough. He, I'm going to tell him to fix something. But it's never bad, like, but I'm going to tell him to fix something. I don't know. I'm passive aggressive. I don't know how to tell you stuff, like, nicely. It's <laughs> so bad. you just get on here and. I have to just snap the fuck out. Like, I'll let you fuck the wig up for $1,000 three times, and then finally I'm, like, done with it. Like, fuck this. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Because it's like, do you like your hair? No. 
but you you tried, you know. I hate my hair, actually. Don't you hate it? <laughs> Ugly. God. You know, and it's the worst part because you hate your hair. Then they got the nerve to spin that chair around. Like a slow one? Oh, God. Now it looks worse. Now I look ugly 360. You want some nuggets or french fries? Mm -mm, I can't really chew in the mic. Can't blow smoke in the mic. Can't chew in the mic. I'm working. Um, yeah, this is a call to arms for real, seriously. Especially when y'all doing all these classes and shit. I want y'all to fucking help that. Listen, I've been on TikTok lately. And I must say, TikTok is a fucking strange place. Do y'all get on TikTok? It's, oh, God, y'all are so weird on TikTok. It's like another world. It's so much stuff to look at. Like, I never get to the end of it. Like, there's just so much shit. And then it's such a weird thing because it's like 10 people doing the same dance to some rap song, and then it's one lady talking about, like, world hunger. It's so weird. And then it's like babies with, like, health problems and people in recovery for crack and meth. Like, I was, I've been locked in on TikTok. And I must say... Americans are fucking weird. Like, we copy off each other. Like, why are we on? What is that? It's such a weird thing. Like, it is the TikTok thing. It's so quiet in here because grown niggas don't use TikTok, apparently. I'm on it. I just blew up on TikTok. I be talking. Didn't I, Trey? <laughs> I blew up, bro. I blew up. I posted something that got like 500,000 views or something. Guess what it was? It's why you being weird to me. I'm under the blanket, and I'm saying the words of my own shit. They loved it. They loved it. It was crazy. They were like, oh, my God, this is you. Finally put the face to the name. You're amazing. Hey, I forgot to manifest um, last episode. I want to manifest something. I want to manifest people being really well at what they do in their arena, even if it's hair, even if it's waxing, even if it's if I do another episode without a wig, I'm done with all you bitches. Y'all want to send me wigs, y'all can. Can't they, Rhonda? Y'all can send a wig. Rhonda will put that bitch on, won't you? She got gotta be. She always got gotta be. Send me a wig. I'd like to be more done up. I think my look is questionable here. What do y'all think at home? <laughs> I think I'd be looking crazy a little bit. No. I'm always missing a nail. It's bad. My life is all over the place. Um, do we have a fucking yeah? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh, so cold. Hey, girl, I just wanted to see if you could talk about on your segment. I know you talk about Probably. a lot about how men are just weird, right? Can we please educate them on the difference between flirting and being creepy as hell? Because a man will take flirting to the next level. They go from flirting to touching you, kissing your hands, and being real weird. Like, just please educate these niggas. Please. And it don't have to be niggas specifically. But you know what I'm saying. Um, yes, sister girl, I will. But I've talked about this a lot. Like, I have. Um, I will, like, more talk about, like, the face-to-face -face stuff. I think touching is totally inappropriate. Like, I think if you're trying to talk, especially if you're trying to talk to me, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Honestly, I, honestly, black people, like, I love y'all. But it's like, y'all niggas don't want to get vaccinated. And then you niggas want to hug again, bro. That's dead, bro. Look, this is how niggas greet. Look. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's how hard I want your elbow to hit mine, bitch. Like, back the fuck up. And, I, and what's happening is I meet you niggas because everybody want me. Don't call me white girl. It's cool. Yeah, hey, yeah, I appreciate it. But it's like, oh, fuck that. Give me a hug. No, nigga, no. no. Give me your fucking bow, nigga. Bow to bow me. You know what I mean? Even you got to give me a little, it be rough. I did that video shoot with those creepy ass dudes. And the one fat security guy, he told me in my ribs. He's digging his fingers in my ribs. Squeezing me like, what the fuck is that? Am I supposed to? Oh yeah, I'm a she gonna remember how I squeezed these ribs. Yeah, from nigga, I remember the pressure on my lungs and how I felt. How I felt like it was almost over. I was fucked. Like damn, I done fucked up. I shouldn't have hugged this nigga. This is wrong. Cause I'm giving. I'm talking about dick and pussy and fucking. So it's like when you meet me, don't touch me, nigga. Cause it ain't going like that. I don't care how many dick you're not. I'm not sucking your dick. Cats out the bay. You watching this whole, this guy on Twitter tweeted me, was like, yo, I've been watching all your stuff. Da, da, da. Guess what? You ain't getting no pussy. <laughs> it ain't going to work. <laughs> so you better chuckle, motherfucker, because we're never going to meet. We're never going to fuck. And if we do meet, we ain't fucking. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I be talking about who I'm fucking. Said, that ain't going to get you that pussy. It's not. Them Gamora in Texas ain't getting you that cat. Get the fuck up out that DM, King. Get up out that DM, King. Man. Fuck up out of here. Flirt with the bitch that you, when you get lunch every day, you go to Burger King. That girl got a big old fat ass. Flirt with her. Flirt with her, man. 
You know what I would do? What time you get off? You need a ride? You know what I mean? What you eat for lunch? I know you tired of these burgers. Let me go get you a pizza from next door. You know what I mean? Something. Flirting is creepy. And you fuck it up with the flirting. It's like, you know what flirting is? Looking from, you know what my flirting is, Juice, my favorite? I, I lock eyes with your motherfucking ass across the club. I won't break that shit neither. I, I want to fuck you. Come over here. That's what this means. Come over here and ask me something. Come over here saying where I'm at. That's all I got. I don't know how to flirt. A very popular rapper did that to me in a section. In Atlanta. Yes, he did. I'll tell you who it is. And it's crazy because I hate his baby mom. Cats out the bag. Y'all know who it is. <laughs> I kid you not. That boy fucked me with his eyes for 20 minutes. I'm telling you. Nigga was in love with me. Ask the nigga that stood with me. Who was with me? Tom Flies. Tom, what you think? Tom? <laughs> Fuck. Tom ain't show up. Demerit. Guess who, guess, guess who got three demerits and gave him back? Rhonda. Gave them shits back. Look at her high. Now she gave him back. <laughs> I give out demerits of this motherfucker. Dre, you about to get one because you ain't had one yet, and that's bullshit. Everybody got demerits but Dre. You not perfect, Dre. Did I answer your question? I don't even remember what her question was. She asked me to ask these weird ass niggas to stop flirting. And I and I decided to go with the in person because I've done it about the DM and about the okay, repetitive messages. Or when there's a thread and she hasn't opened it at all, you already fucked up, King. Leave it. Leave it. It's too much. It look freaky. You've been talking to me for weeks. You've been talking to me for weeks. Weeks. I ain't said nothing back. Not one word. Ain't asked you shit. Ain't said nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? It's wrong. Some of that shit, some of y'all tactics are just downright wrong. You know the worst one? When they get under your comment and they say stuff like, call me back, babe. Like, bitch, you know damn well I ain't never called you from the start. I don't even have your number. Call me back, bae. Or baby mom. Oh, you rude. God damn, you ain't even hit me with the wifey because I ain't going to never be shit. Hey, baby mom, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's time to go. I love y'all. Thanks for joining in. I'll see y'all soon. It's been a great episode. It's always a great time here. You understand what I'm saying? I love it here. Listen, manifest me a fucking wig because I'm tired of looking crazy on this motherfucker, okay? I need my lashes done. I need my hair done. I need my nails done. You bitches send me stuff. Why you being weird? I guess. All right, bye. I love y'all.